Good morning, everyone. This is Harold Lambos Pissuros, senior analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 21st of uh, June. Yesterday, in Bank of England, Governor Mark Carney indicated that now is not the time to raise rates. The pound tumbled as his comments probably poured cold water on uh, speculation that uh, Bank of England rate hikes may be looming, a prospect that attracted attention after three out of eight uh, Monetary Policy Committee members surprisingly voted for an immediate hike at uh, last week's uh, Bank of England meeting. These remarks reinforce our view that the Bank of England will probably continue looking through above target inflation as a potential rate hike is likely to weigh on employment and growth in a period of uh, political uncertainty. A media story that the UK's credit rating could soon be downgraded may have also weighed on the pound. Now, as for today, we expect market focus to turn back to UK politics as uh, the Queen's speech uh, takes place. The Queen will outline to Parliament a list of uh, laws that the government wants to get approved over the coming year. Parliament will spend the next uh, few days debating on these plans before halting a vote next week. Importantly, the agreement between uh, the Tories and uh, the Dupe is not finalized yet, and recent media reports suggest that uh, the deal may even fall apart. This implies that uh, Theresa May still lacks uh, the majority she needs to get uh, the speech uh, passed and stay on as uh, Prime Minister. Therefore, in the short term, many signs that May can establish a government and all that uh, she may soften her Brexit stance could lead to a relief rally in, in uh, Sterling, in our view. We could even get some soft uh, Brexit signals in today's uh, Queen's speech. On the other hand, if uh, May is unable to get uh, the Queen's uh, speech uh, passed, then uh, Labor, uh, the Labour leader Jer Jeremy Corbyn would be invited to attempt to form a government. In this scenario, the pound could trade lower initially on the possibility of uh, prolonged uncertainty over the timeline, over the timeline of the EU-UK talks. However, we think that uh, the prospect of a Labour government or another election could result in a stronger pound overall, as uh, the likelihood of a hard uh, Brexit will, pro will probably diminish. GBP-USD collapsed uh, yesterday on uh, Carney's uh, remarks, falling below the support now turned into resistance of 127 and subsequently breaking the 126.35 hurdle. Although the price structure on the 4-hour chart still suggests a short-term downtrend, short downtrend, the rate is uh, trading slightly above the crossroad of uh, the longer-term upside support line taken from the low of the 7th of October and the prior downside resistance line drawn from, from the peak of uh, the 6th of uh, December. Combined with uh, the fact that yesterday's tumble appears uh, too steep, this makes us believe that there is a likelihood of a rebound back above 126.35, something that uh, may pave the way for a test near 127 as a resistance this time. Now moving to New Zealand, and during the Asian morning Thursday, the, the RBNZ uh, rate decision will uh, be in the spotlight and the forecast is for the bank to keep its uh, policy steady. At its uh, latest meeting, the bank kept the door open for, for further easing, indicating that uh, much of uh, the recent progress in inflation was transitory. Meanwhile, policymakers noted that although growth uh, was soft in the second half of uh, 2016, the outlook remained positive. With regards to the Kiwi, they indicated that its 5% decline since uh, February was encouraging and that uh, if sustained, this would help to rebalance uh, the growth outlook. However, ever since, uh, developments on the latter two fronts have been quite uh, discouraging. GDP data for the first quarter showed that uh, growth was only 0.5% quarter over quarter, far below the RBNZ's forecast of 0.9%. Uh, On top of that, the Kiwi recovered uh, notably and is now trading at levels uh, similar to those in February when uh, officials had uh, noted that a decline in the exchange rate is needed. Bearing all this in mind, we think that the bank is likely to leave uh, the prospect for uh, further easing on the table and may also reintroduce its uh, prior concerns regarding the exchange rate. In the extreme scenario, the RBNZ could even hint an FX intervention if uh, needed to curb uh, Kiwi strength, as, uh, it, as it did back in uh, November. 
Any such uh, signals could reverse some of the Kiwi's uh, recent gains. Kiwi dollar has been trading in an uptrend since uh, the 12th of May, but in the last uh, few days the trend appears to be running out of steam. This is evident by the latest uh, lower peaks in the price action and the declining momentum indicators. If indeed the RBRZ uh, sounds more concerned uh, tonight than it did in previous gatherings, then we may see the pair sliding below the 0.7215 support. Another break below 0.7180 would confirm a forthcoming lower low on the 4-hour chart and perhaps bring a short-term uh, trend reversal. Now, as uh, for the rest of uh, today's highlights, the economic calendar today is relatively, is relatively light. From Norway, we get uh, the aqua unemployment rate for April, while in Sweden, the consumer and manufacturing confidence indices for June are uh, due out. From the US, we get existing home sales for May and the forecast is uh, for a slowdown. For more information, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.